Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, this will hopefully be a short one and something a little niche, but pretty cool to get some more mileage out of your hard modded Xbox 360 in case you have a RGH or a JTAG of some kind. It's been pretty great to play games on, but I know some people have been interested in playing development builds or development copies of games, prototypes, betas, alphas, whatever it might be. Now, you can play retail games just fine on a modified Xbox 360, however, it does get a little bit tricky if you're trying to play some development builds. Yes, there are ways of doing it where, for example, if you end up getting a development kit, well, you can play development builds on there just fine. But if you do have a hard modded retail Xbox 360, such as this one right here running Aurora, there's a few other options that you have available. One of them is completely flashing something such as RG Loader or the equivalent of a dev kernel to your system. But what if you're somebody who you still want to have the retail kernel on here, you still want to have a retail system with mods on top of it, but you also want the ability to have some more compatibility with development builds. Well, that is possible with a plugin, which I'm going to be showing you how to set up and install. Now, do keep in mind, this here is the old archive of Obscure Gamers, but this is where this was released by Chrome X Mods, as well as XXJamesTXX. This here is HVP.XEX, and this is specifically for the 17559 dashboard. So if and when there is a newer dashboard in the future, if this does get updated for that, that would be great. However, at this moment in time, if you are watching this, you do need the 17599 dashboard installed on your system. Now, there are some known problems or issues that I do want to highlight on this before you go into trying this out. First of all, running this plugin using the original Xbox compatibility causes issues. So if you do want to play original Xbox games, make sure you disable this plugin before you play original Xbox games. Secondly, it is not at all recommended to play debug builds while online. While as I don't play any of my hard modded systems for the 360 online, I don't use stealth servers or anything, I'm sure there's many people watching who do, so just keep that in mind, do not use debug builds when online. And finally, some people might be stating a debug build that is known to work fine on an XDK doesn't launch or it crashes. And they do state that you can leave a comment about this with information, but I don't believe this has been developed for several years at this point. So that is to say here that this does work with enabling more builds to work. Unfortunately, if there's going to be builds of games that you try out and they don't work, well, that's just going to be a limitation of this plugin. And at that point, you would need a dev kernel or a full on development kit of some kind to play it. Now, I will say this here, as this is an archive and this link is old, the download link on this page is not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I am going to have a download link, an additional link for this, but a download link at some place that has a copy of this. It will be linked down below in the description. But go ahead and download the HVP executable and save it somewhere on your computer. You can easily find it. Once you have it downloaded, it's just going to be this HVP.XEX file, and you are going to need a USB drive on hand if you want to transfer this over. Now there's other ways of doing it, for example through FTP, but I'm going to be using using a USB drive for this personally. If you have used a USB drive on the 360, you should know that it needs to be formatted to FAT32 and set to MBR. And if you're on the latest dashboard, you can easily just format the USB drive on your console itself and now have it taken care of. Either way, what you'll need to do is go into your USB drive, grab hvp.xex and copy and paste it. I do have a couple of builds right here that I am going to be using, and while as this is not going to cover at all where to obtain any of the content, I will show you at least a trick with this here if you're going to be using this on a retail system. For this, I'm going to select Crackdown, for example, and keep in mind that the XEX file is an executable, much like, well, an EXE is. Now, EXE files do work on the Xbox 360. However, these would work on a development kit, but since we're on a retail system, they're not going to be recognized properly. So if you have a build in raw file format such as this, you might need to rename the executable. And to do that on your drive, you will have to make sure that file name extensions have been enabled. And then for any of your executables that you're going to run, you will have to rename them from .exe to .xex. Now, when you exit out of this, it will give you a warning here asking if you want to change the file name extension. And for this, we're going to say yes, since these are going to run on a Xbox 360. So do the same thing here. 
Once that's done, say yes, and there we go. That build should hopefully be ready for our system. Once that's complete, we can now exit out of here, right click, eject our USB drive, and transfer it over to the console. Once you're back over at the system, plug in your USB drive and make sure it is recognized. Once it has been recognized, if you're using something such as Aurora, you can press the back button to open up the file manager, go into the file manager itself, go down to your USB drive, and this is the file we need, hvp.xex. You can highlight this, tap the X button, go over to the left, and go to the copy option. Now tap the RB button on your controller, go to HDD1, you will need an internal hard drive for this, and here you're going to want to put it in the root of your hard drive. So right when you enter HDD1, navigate back over to the left and press paste and say yes. So as you can see, it's going to be right here next to your launch.ini. It has to be in the root of your hard drive and it has to be hvp.xex. You cannot change the location and you cannot change the name of it. Now, once that's done, we can exit out of here, and we now need to open up Dash Launch. So go ahead, open up Dash Launch, and inside of here, go over to your plugins, and within plugins, we are going to need to set a new plugin. So I already have a Corona Keys Fix executable, and this here is for the Rock Band games, but I do want to add an additional plugin, which is going to be HVP. You can highlight whichever plugin slot is available, tap the A button on your plugin slot, go to HDD, go down to hvp.xex and tap the A button. Once that's been added in, tap the right bumper, go down to HDD or wherever you're saving your launch.any, which should be your hard drive. And when you highlight HDD, tap the X button and it will now say settings saved to hard drive slash launch.any. Now hit the RB button yet again and go down to quit and let it reload Aurora. Now here we go, Aurora is working, but to make sure this plugin sticks, go ahead and perform a full reboot of your system. So power off your console and then turn it back on. So now with our system successfully rebooted, we can go ahead and try a development build. For this here, I'm going to go into my USB drive, go ahead and grab that copy of Crackdown, and let's see. Now based on the notes that I was seeing in replies, it looks like the final release will end up working with this. The release one, probably not. So again, this will require some trial and error, but let's go ahead and give this a shot. I was able to launch this. We are at a black screen. Let's give it a bit of time. And here we go. It did take quite a bit here. Now, I have tried this at one point before. Oh, my character. There we go. I was wondering where my character was at. As you can see, it's, uh, well, it is definitely a prototype, but it starts you off in the water right here. But as you can see, this is a development build that is working. I did not have to grab a XDK. I did not have to flash a development kernel. I did not have to change this over to RG Loader. None of that. Thankfully, it was able to operate just fine right here. Now, do keep in mind, much like with prototypes in general, uh, there are going to be issues. There are going to be crashes. There's not going to be the best compatibility. And part of that is using the HVP executable as opposed to, well, an actual development kernel. But another part is, well, prototypes and betas just being prototypes and betas. I know, for example, right here, I'm playing this, but from notes that have been taken, if you press the pause button and try to pause the game, well, that is it. Uh, it looks like the game ends up soft locking, so I cannot unpause the game, but you can see it's still running, and if I bring up the guide, at least the guide is working right there. So that's an example of something that could happen if you're playing some of these builds. However, now that we were able to get that successfully working, or the best that we could get it here, I'm going to go ahead, exit out of here, and go back to Aurora. Either way, that is about it for this video here. So again, a little bit of a shorter one and a little more niche for the Xbox 360, well, hard modded ones, but hopefully this can get you sorted and you can have a little bit more fun with your Xbox 360. We are coming up on almost 20 years of Xbox 360 this year, at least it's going to be 19 years old, but it's really cool still being able to explore a lot of stuff like this on the system once it's been unlocked. Either way, that is about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.